Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry that it has been a while since I've been here. I've been really busy and I know I say that a lot, so I feel like I need to explain that a little bit. So, whenever I'm saying that I'm busy and that's the reason that I haven't been able to put out videos, um, the sheriff's office that I work at right now, I'm currently assigned the school resource officer. And the school asked me if I would coach their uh, trap shooting team. So right now we've been having all of our practices on the weekends, which is why I have not been able to do as many fishing videos because I'm having to do the trap shooting on the weekends. As of right now, I'm working on uh, some things to maybe help us be able to have our practices couple of days during the week to kind of help free up not just my weekend but the kids weekend as well so that's why every time I say I've been really busy and I haven't had a chance to do a video it's because it's work related I'm not just getting lazy on you guys but I've been kind of tied up so uh, last month uh, I did fish a tournament it was one of the uh, first responder tournaments that I do and my plan was to do my monster bass box for last month during that tournament but the time didn't work out for me and then here in arkansas during the spring season i like to call it the monsoon season because all we get is a bunch of rain and it's kind of hard well i ain't even gonna say kind of it's really hard for me to try to do a video out in the boat when constantly raining and I don't want to get all the stuff like drenched and get the cameras wet and messed up. So it's hard to do that and I did not get that video out for last month's Monster, Bi Monster Bass. I apologize. Um, I don't know if there were certain parts of that tournament that I fished when they were in there. Uh, it was a Z-Man takeover. I did fish with one of the Z-Man chatterbaits. I didn't catch anything. Uh, I think I even threw some of the Z-Man plastics, but I didn't catch anything on those, and then I don't remember if I did get those in the uh, in the video. However, you can go to Monster Bass and look for that month's box and basically see what it was. Like I said, it was a Z-Man takeover. Uh, there was two chatterbaits. Uh, I believe there was some of the Z-Man razor shads were in there, as well as... Uh, some of the Z-Man TRDs, some of their mushroom heads for their net rig, and uh, I want to say there was one of their worms, I want to say it was the hula stick, the hula, the hula stick. that's what's called, the hula stick, but really good baits, um, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about the Z-Man baits, I don't use them a lot, the most I know about them is from watching uh, Brian Latimer videos, he's sponsored by Z-Man, and he, he does really good fishing the Z-Man stuff. I just don't have a whole lot of luck with Z-Man basically because of the material that they use to make their plastics. It's hard for me to rig up the baits. And so that's why I just don't use a lot of Z-Man plastics. However, watching the guys, the professional guys who does use Z-Man, they have a lot of success with them. So just because I'm saying I don't use Z-Man and I haven't caught anything with Z-Man lures, um, don't count that out. Like I said, a lot of the guys who use the Z-Man and the tournaments and stuff, they do great with it. I, I would learn. I'd say Z-Man is a good bait to use. Get them, give them a try. I'm still learning them. I'm not giving up on them at this moment. I'm still trying them out. But uh, and that's one of the cool things about Monster Bash. You know, uh, lures that you might not go to the store and buy, you get them in Monster Bash and it introduces you to those lures as well as a lot of helpful information from the professionals who do use that stuff to kind of help you along the way. So I just got to spend a little bit more time with the Z-Man stuff. So again, I apologize for not getting a Monster Bass video out last month and I am sorry that my videos have kind of dropped off. Like I said, I've been really busy, but I'm hoping that's going to change here in the next few months. And so without further do let's get into april's monster bass box 
I'm not even going to explain to you guys what Monster Bass is. If you don't know what Monster Bass is, you must be different. However, the link will be down below for you to get your own Monster Bass. Uh, sign up for three months and get a fourth month for free. Um, it's, it's really... This thing is really... It, you can't beat it. Fifty dollars worth of lures in this box and you're only going to pay about 30, 30 to 35 dollars for lures and some terminal tackle that would cost you anywhere from 50 to 55 so do the math you ain't even got to really do the math it's, it's that easy but let's jump into it so for the month of april like always you get your cool booklet that helps you learn the lures Here, catch a fish, submit it to Monster Bass. Hopefully, you get your picture in there. Um, what fish you caught, the size, and everything. The lunar phases, so that way you can plan your fishing trips according to when the, the best times to get out there on the water. So you're not just wasting time and burning daylight, you're actually out there catching that baby. Uh, let's dig down here to the bottom your your card your golden ticket uh, catch monster bass every Thursday on YouTube at 7 p.m. and if they call your number you can win a prize so that's always cool monster bass sticker um, it's just your straight up and down monster bass logo sticker but I like how they did this you know this more of a long one that's pretty cool and I'm guessing this is something new. Fishing trading cards. And to get it started off, we have Brian Thrift, who won this year's uh, Bass Pro Tour uh, Red Crest. And it, just a quick little bio on him. Uh, career wins. He's had uh, 10. He's had 10 career wins. 74 top 10 finishes. 91 top 20 finishes. He's been to the Red Crest three times, uh, the 2022 20, Angler of the Year final rank, he finished 18th in Angler of the Year, and his career winnings, he's got over $3 million in career winnings. So I think this is something new that they're going to start doing where they're going to do a quick little you know, trading cards on the guys. I don't know if it's just going to strictly be uh, Major League Fishing or if it's going to also include uh, Bassmasters, and this might also be uh, trading cards on the professionals that are linked with Monster Bass. So I guess we'll have to see what next month looks like in order to make that determination. So, okay, let's dive into these lures, and as I pick them out, if they have the information in the booklets, I'll read from the book. And to get this one started, we have the River to Seas. Whopper Plopper. Um, I've seen this lure in tournaments on TV, of course. Uh, these things catch some fish. Uh, Whopper Ploppers, if you don't know, Whopper Ploppers are a top water lure. Back here, the tail is a, uh, if you can see that, that tail there, it's a blade. So as it's on top of the water and it's chopping up that water and it makes a nice gurgling, popping sound that attracts those fish. Uh, this one comes in at 9 16 ounce. It's a 3 inch bait. Uh, let's see if it is what's The color is called Monkey Butt. <laughs> uh, I don't know what size hooks those are, but uh, like I said, I've seen a lot of the pros watching tournaments and stuff catching a lot of fish on those things. I'm going to check real quick to see if it's. Oh, yes, it is. So, here we go. So, best places to fish this lure is around grass, humps, ledges. You can fish it out in open water. Uh, around riprap, points, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, do be careful fishing this around cover because those treble hooks, uh, they're like a magnet for cover. You're going to get hung up, so be careful with that. Uh, 
uh, suggested gear for the Whopper Plopper, a 7.6 medium heavy composite with glass, uh, glass action rod, 65 pound braid, 7.2 to 1 gear ratio bait casting reel. Uh, that braid, because again, you're throwing it around grass, you want to be able to do that grass whenever you get a bite. Uh, if you're fishing around any submerged grass, you know, up there in that open water and those fish trying to get you buried down in there, you want to be able to cut through that stuff. I will say be careful around the trees because, you know, braid will cut into the tree, but it won't cut through it and you'll break off. So be careful around the trees. And I'm not sure a whole lot on this. Like, this is a lure that I haven't I've never thrown a whopper plopper. Um, I would say throw it out there and then a steady retrieve. Again, let the fish tell you uh, the speed of uh, fast, medium, slow speed. Uh, you might even be able to reel it and kill it and then start reeling again. Again, let the fish kind of tell you what to do with it. Okay, we're going to move on. We have the Monster Bass Hammerhead Crankbait. Uh, this is the, so it's the 1.5, the color I'm believing is Sexy Sand. Now this is the Alex Rudd edition where he basically took the Monster Bass Hammerhead crankbaits and just said, hey guys, do the same thing, but make them silent. So these are the silent square bills for those days where you want a little bit more subtle uh, action not a whole lot of commotion and stuff. I would say when the bass are real finicky and all that extra commotion and stuff is going on, you know, try something else and throw a silent crankbait. Uh, this one for square bills, it's saying, Showing three to five feet water depth, fishing around grass humps, brush piles, riprap points, docks, rocks, and trees. Your suggested gear a seven foot medium heavy composite glass action rod, 14 to 20 pound fluorocarbon, 7.2 to 1 gear ratio bank So, again, you want a good, you hear the guys say all the time, a good parabolic uh, bend in the rod. Basically, you want a rod that is stout enough to keep the fish pinned but it's got enough flexibility so when those fish make a surge the rod will give to give you that play that flexibility to where they can't pull off and the rod isn't so stiff to where it just rips that bait out of the mouth so that's why you want you a good medium heavy composite something that still got some flexibility in there something with some, with some tip because you're going to need that tip to when you're casting is on your uh, back cast to load up that rod so when you come forward it's going to help slingshot that lure out there uh, that seven to two that's pretty much i call it the high medium because you're not going too fast and then you're not going too slow it's just enough speed to get that bait down kicking off the bottom kicking up that sun or whatever and getting those fish's attention so that's why you want to Good uh, medium high speed reel to uh, get that bait down there. Next, we're going to go, I'm going to pick this one up, and we have a pack of X Zone 5 inch true center stick. This color is Crawl Lamb. That is a nice brownish color, you know, crawl pattern. Uh, I mean, with this, you can wacky rig these, Nico rig them, Texas rig them, Carolina rig. I mean, your basic worm fishing style will work with these. Pitching them and flipping them. Uh, speaking of that, I'm on this page right here where it's talking about pitching and flipping. Your water depth is going to vary. You can fish this super, super shallow or you can fish this super deep. Uh, the structure or cover that you want to fish around, grass, tules or reeds, brush piles, 
docks, mats, and trees. Your suggested gear for flipping and pitching, 76 heavy fast action graphite rod, 50 to 60 pound braid, 7.2 to 1 gear ratio bait. Again, that's that good speed where uh, if you need to get your bait in to make another flip or another pitch, you can get it in pretty fast, but then you're not sacrificing a lot of torque and power when you do set the hook on that fish. You want to be able to turn that handle and turn that fish's head back towards the hook to get them out of that cover. So that 7.2, like I said, is that good medium high speed reel to where you haven't really sacrificed all of your torque and power to turn that fish back towards you, but it's still fast enough to pick up that extra slack so you can set the hook. Um, the fishing line, I would bury the fishing line. If you're fishing around a lot of grass, I would go with the braid. Because that braid will cut the grass. But around the docks, the trees, and stuff like that, if there's a chance of you getting, you know, that braid cutting into that wood and not being able to cut through it, you probably want to go with the fluorocarbon or something that's a good um, high abrasion. So that way you're not breaking off all the time. So that's something that I would go with right there. Uh, let's see here. I think that was about it as far as the techniques. Whoa. Just want to double check to make sure. Yeah, that was about it. Probably because next thing I'm gonna pull out of here is a pack of power bait chicken crawls. Uh, this is a crawl bait. Yeah, it suggests it's a it's a four inch bait. The color is green pumpkin flick and the neck of dye. So it's recommending an offset hook, EWG, and look at that. You get a pack of monster bass saber tooth three aught EWG hooks. So again, same thing as far as the flipping and pitching. Uh, your normal Texas rig setups, you can have that set up with your fluorocarbon. You can also use these as a, as a trailer for your jigs or even your chatterbaits. So, and then we have here another pack of a uh, bio bait, and these are also stick baits. So, same thing that you can do with these X Zone, you can do with these. This one don't have a color listed on the package, but it looks like a green pumpkin. So, again, whatever you can do with this, you can do with this, you probably can do with this. And then, we have a pack of missile baits, baby d -bop. I don't fish with these a lot, uh, with any of the missile bait stuff, and that's only because one of my favorite baits to go out and buy is Strike King. But, that is not saying that these missile baits aren't good. Right here we have the Baby D Bomb and the Burley's Candy. You get a six pack. Uh, this is your beaver style bait, so this would be great for flipping, pitching, Texas rigging. Uh, again, around the same cover. You know, this box right here is a very, very simple bait, uh, box. I would call this box. Okay, so you have a lot of your soft plastics. And then you have two moving baits. One on the top water, one of them in that shallow to medium depth. And then these lures here, you can fish just about all depth. So this really is like a starter box right here. You could literally take this box, go out somewhere and fish every one of these baits. Um, even, even though they didn't send us any weights, but I mean, you can fish a lot of these plastics weightless and you would still catch stuff so really really good box I might throw this one in my truck and use my travel ride on this and see what I can't get but I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in and watching uh, watching the video please hit that subscribe button also like the video share the video drop comments and let me know how you like the video what else do you want to see I'm also getting ready to do some more videos with shooting stuff. 
hopefully I will be getting on a range pretty soon so y'all will get to see some live fire I know I'm always using my cool fire trainer and my uh, my mantis but I am hoping to get out on the range and do some live fire with some of that stuff that I'm showing y'all here in the shop so just be on the lookout for that stuff and uh, maybe next year since I just told y'all about the trap shooting hopefully next year I'll be able to get a camera out there and get some video and try to do something with that so I don't know we'll see where it goes I have to remember since it is involving the school I have to get parents permission to uh, record their kids and stuff like that and take pictures and all that good stuff so hopefully all the parents will be on board with me doing that so let's keep our fingers crossed for that so till the next time guys thanks for tuning in hope to see you guys out on the water I don't know. I'm lost on that one. So, uh, like I said, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, hit, the, hit that like button, share the videos, and leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And until the next time, guys, see you guys out in the great outdoors.